he knows what you need today? Yes, yeah. he does. You think he knows you need food? Yes. You need clothes? You need money to pay your bills? You need a job? Do you believe he knows all yes, those yes. things? Well, the Bible said he told them, bring it to me. They said, the ex he said, how are we going to feed these people? They said, well, you know, we go to work, but even if we, even if we, all our weeks work, we couldn't buy enough food for all these. Yeah. But the Bible said, Jesus already knew what he was going to do. Yes, he did. So he said, bring what the lad has to me. That little boy, I don't know who he was, but he was ready to get blessed. Yes, he because did. he gave everything he had yeah, to the Lord. Lord. Like the Lord. Oh, yeah. And God, and the Lord Jesus took it, the Bible said, and he looked up and he gave thanks. Then he distributed it. You see, if you don't have enough today, take that little you have and give him thanks for it. Because oh, much, oh, is, 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 much is a lot yeah. in the hands of Jesus Christ. Oh, you see, we want to have more. We want to have our needs met. But we don't ever think about giving him to Lord, I thank you for what you've blessed me with. I thank you, Lord, you make a way for me. I thank you, Lord, that, that I give you what I have. And I lift it up before you, yes. and I thank yes. you for it. And when you do that, the Bible said, then it multiplied. Yes. Yes. And everybody got yes. saved. Yes. You see, in giving thanks in our life, something happens. You see, the lepers, the lepers, a leprosy was something that could not be cured. That's right. no, no, no. It was a disease that could not be cured. You see, sin is like a disease yes. that cannot be cured except through the blood of Christ. Amen. You see, so he, they had the ten lepers that showed up. Right. Jesus was going to Jerusalem, and they said, Lord, have mercy upon us to cleanse us. Yes. And he said, go show yourself to the priest, because that was the law on that day, and it was the law has been fulfilled through Jesus Christ. Yes. If anybody tries to say something is in the Old Testament, and does it not for you and I today, don't believe a lie of the devil, because Jesus fulfilled the Old and the New Testament Amen. through yes. himself. Yes. Yes. All good. All good. So the Bible said, they were, they, as they went, they were cleansed. One of them stopped yes. and yes. gave thanks. Yes. And fell at his feet and gave him thanks. Yes. He took time to give him thanks. How many times do we take time to give him thanks when he gives us the answer? Whoa. To give him thanks when he's provided for us, when he has given us the provision. How many times do we just take it and go around with it, or do we stop to give him thanks? Because the Lord Jesus said, where are the other nine? Come on. Were there not ten here? Yeah, yeah. Only one came back, took the time to give him thanks. Yeah. You know what he told him? Go oh, by way. You have been made whole. Mm -hmm. Ooh, made whole. Oh, yeah. You know what that means in the Bible? You. It means you have been made whole in your spirit. You've been whole in your mind. You're whole in your body. Whole. You're whole in your life. You're whole in your relationships. Yeah. You're whole in your finances. Ooh. You have been made whole. We're going to take communion today. And you see, we can give him thanks. But mercy, his mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. The truth of it is that we can thank him that we have accepted Christ and we're saved today. That we know that when we take our last breath in this earth, Jesus called living this life as going to sleep. He always just said they were sleeping. Because when you take your last breath, your spirit comes out of your body. Because your spirit lives forever. And then those that are saved are going to go with the Lord to be in heaven forever. With those that are saved, they're going to be in heaven. Those that have accepted Christ and the atonement of the cross by his precious blood will make it to heaven. Thank God for his mercy. Thank God for his truth. And the truth is, I'm not longer how I was when I first got saved. Because he has cleansed me in his blood. So when he looks at you and I, that he, that God doesn't see the old person. He sees the new person. He sees that you and I, washed in the blood of the Lamb, cleansed by Jesus' blood. The Bible said his sin, your past, he don't even remember anymore. He do 